Screen recordings are an easy way to build your YouTube channel, your binge-worthy YouTube channel. But if that's your goal, then video quality, ease of recording, and a polished edit are critical. So let's talk about the best and worst screen recording apps because one of these is, I think, the best and one of them is the worst. First up, we can't talk about screen recording apps without talking about the old standbys, which in my mind are ScreenFlow and Camtasia. ScreenFlow is Mac only, Camtasia is Windows and Mac. These are like the wise grandfathers of screen recording apps because you can record and you can edit. Not only can you edit your screen recordings, but the editor is very robust and it's designed to edit screen recordings. So when you need to zoom in or zoom out or throw a couple of arrows on or highlight a certain section, Camtasia and ScreenFlow are designed really, really well for that kind of a screen recording. But they are on the more expensive side when it comes to software. Now, I'm just gonna get this out of the way real quick. I think Zoom is the worst app that you could use to record your screen recordings. I know you probably already have it. It's probably already easy for you to use, but Zoom is a world-class meeting software. It's not a world-class screen recording software and it shows in the quality. So if you're recording your screen to put on your YouTube channel because you're establishing your video brand, you're growing your audience, and you want to create valuable content that's actually useful to people, the quality of the screen you're recording does matter. So when it comes to affordable and free options for recording your screen, there are much better options than Zoom. And I'm gonna to get to those in a second. Before I do, I wanna show you this desktop trick. If you're recording your desktop at all, if you take a look at my entire desktop screen here, you can see that I have icons all over the place. And that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna clear these out just to record my entire screen, but I did create a custom background image in Canva where I have some crop marks of exactly where to crop my screen recording. So what I did is I went to my system settings and then I came down to my desktop, no, my displays. And then I know that my Thunderbolt display, which is my like 10 year old monitor that I use is 2560 by 1440. So I created an image in Canva that's exactly that size. And then within Canva, I set my crop marks to be exactly a 16 to nine ratio. So 1920 by 1080, that way, I know that when I'm recording my screen, I'm recording exactly what I can crop within my edited video. And if I want to show my desktop, all I have to do is make sure that all of my icons are moved outside of my crop marks here. And some of them I might just have to get rid of, or I create a new folder and I say clean up and I'll just put some of these things in their own folder and get them out of the way. I also put a super transparent version of my logo here just for some added branding. And my favorite part about this trick is that because I'm recording the left hand most side of my screen, you can't see the date and time that I recorded the video. That might not matter to everybody, but sometimes it does. And by the way, if you're wondering how I recorded this part of my screen, and my face at the same time and edit them to look so nice. You're gonna love what I'm about to show you. But first, let's talk about free desktop recording apps because there are a few of them that I go to if I need to do something real quick. And because I'm on a Mac, usually my go-to for something really quick is QuickTime. If you're not on a Mac, but you are looking for a free screen recording option that does have higher quality than Zoom, take a look at OBS. Now recording your screen in Zoom or QuickTime or OBS is really easy to do, but then there's the whole question of editing. So we'll get to screen recording editing in just a moment, but I also wanna mention some options that you might not be aware of if you've only been looking for screen recording apps, and that is streamers. So for example, right now I'm recording into Ecamm. The desktop trick that I just showed you, I recorded with something else and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. But Ecamm is a streaming software for Mac, but it's also a really great recording software for a talking head and recording my screen and recording both at the same time. But if you're on a PC, you might wanna look at something like StreamYard. Now, editing your screen recordings is where things start to get a little bit more complicated. So if you're only doing quick 
recordings that you need to send off to your assistant or share with a friend or something. You could use something like Loom or Canva, but if your videos are a bit more in depth, a bit longer, and you are going to have to edit your words and cut out anything that, you know, places where you messed up, for example, Descript is my go-to for this, whether it's a screen recording or a talking head video or both. And I put Descript in its own category here because you can record your screen and then you can edit your screen recording, but it's different than other screen recording editors because you can edit like a doc. So you don't have to go directly to the timeline and start cutting and splicing everything and get real complicated. You can just look at the words on the screen, figure out what you want to get rid of and what you want to keep. So it's a great app for easily recording and then easily editing. The best screen recording app when it comes to quality, ease of recording, and creating a polished edit is Tella. With Tella, you can record your desktop screen either using the app on your computer or just using the browser-based version of the software. And then with just a few clicks of a button, you can create this really beautiful polished screen recording with zoom ins and a custom background branded to you. And if you record your face and your screen at the same time, you can choose where you want your face to go. And I absolutely love how easy it is to create a polished screen recording with Tella. This video is not sponsored by any one of these particular pieces of software, but I put a link to all of them below if you want to try them out for yourself. And 99% of the time, any video that I publish on my YouTube channel also goes through a polishing phase inside of Premiere Pro. It's not always necessary, but I did put together a video showing exactly what I do in Premiere Pro before I publish my videos to YouTube to make sure that they look and sound as good as they can before I hit publish. So I'll link that video up for you here.